Warning, the starting and this cringy video is for the flu that's been going around. I need to make a video for this channel, as I promised. Thanks for understanding, and enjoy the video. Thank you. two videos or three videos out this week because I have a lot to get covered about. From the last clip oh, clip you saw, you probably saw what I have in my hand. And I'll tell you why I have the stuff in my hand. I just want to take the time to tell you guys that I'm back to YouTubing like two or three week, um, days a week. New videos out every week. It's just going to be awesome. Phenomenal. My uh, Instagram account is almost at 1k. I'm really beyond thankful. So um, yeah, let me tell you what's in my hand right now. So my birthday is on the 23rd, which is this Thursday, and I had like a huge party, like 89 people came to my house. And um, I got a few wrestling presents that I would like to share with people. And um, one of the things, you'll be surprised, you know? So um, this is gonna be a quick video. So let's get to it. So I got three train cards and one wrestling finger, which you might hang up in my wall near all my stuff. You can kind of see like uh, the boogie man up there. And my wrestling uh, phone finger, don't want to see it because you can't see me. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to see those those YouTubers like throw stuff and then catch it. So let's get to it. Ah, the first one is Seth Rollins um, SummerSlam 2015. When he won the championship against John Cena. It says Seth Rollins defeats John Cena for the United States Championship on August 8th, I mean August 23rd, 2015. And the back says, It was a first for WWE, the World Heavyweight Championship and the United States Championship on the line in a winner take all match. The match was in jeopardy though, thanks to Seth Rollins severely busting up John Cena's nose in a match on Raw. I remember that when it happened. Oh my god. The dedicated superstar Hammer returned to WWE just in time for SummerSlam, and the two tore down in the Barclays Center with an incredible performance. The match, however, came to the second half when SummerSlam host John Stewart attacked John Cena with a chair, handing R Rollins the victory in both championships. So this is the card, and um, oh yeah, thanks Han WWE, uh, Wrestling Boy Savage for um giving me these. I really appreciate it so we can go on my wall with my other few uh, wrestling cards I have because I might be having a collection. So, um, thank you and I'll put your uh, YouTube in the link below. By the way, me and Han will be having a YouTube channel. Like, we're going to put on, we're going to put on matches, promos, and all that jazz, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, go check him out, guys. He's lit. The next card I have in my hand is with his second Euro um, European Championship, the game, Triple H. So, this is, I think, back in the 90s, like 1997 or 1998. And, uh, yeah, so this is him. And, uh, yeah, this is Tribute. And the back says, wins his second European Championship. Though his first European Championship, Triple H, won with more of a mock area of the WWE, but brass. His D Reaction X running mate Shawn Michaels purposely let the game pin him. And the second was indeed a true victory as he came in a match against Owen Hart. This is kind of weird because when it's in your own heart, because I've been like watching videos about the Montreal screw job, which I'll give my thoughts later in the video earlier this week. And I was watching like his death video in RIP Owen Hart. Um, you're a really cool wrestler. I've seen some of your matches and I um, hope you rest in peace with the uh, people you love in there. And uh, let me get back to reading. Months earlier, Hart defeated Goldust dressed as Triple H for the championship with the Commissioner of Slaughter. Ruling victory legal. Out for revenge, the cerebral assassin defeated Hart on the March 17th, 1998 edition of Raw, bringing the European Championship back to D-Generation X and further established the team's dominance in WWE. Alright, thank you, Hoff, for this one. I really appreciate it. And Owen Hart has been one of my favorite guys from back in the 90s, even though I'm not, I'm kind of a 90s kid. And, uh, even though I miss him, I never really had a chance to, like, see him, like, before, like, that live before, you know, happened when he died in the catwalk, and, uh, once again, R.I.P. Owen Hart. The last card I have, he 
is a two-time Roller Rumble winner. So I guess I'm guessing you guys have a few choices of who you guys think it is. If you guess Batista, if you yeah, if you guess him, you're wrong because it is the Viper, Randy Orton. It was at WrestleMania 27. Randy Orton defeats CM Punk. Classic, one of the classic WrestleMania matches of all time. I heard it was like, yeah, I remember that. It, um, Randy Orton defeats CM Punk. Oh, it was 27 out of 30. Maybe this card's made in like 2014 or something. Anyways, Randy Orton has had had several top performances in WrestleMania, but none were perhaps as hotly anticipated as his WrestleMania's 27 match against CM Punk. Orton and Punk had a long been considered two of the most eye gal and intelligent superstars of their time and expected their match to be in the even draw. When Fuller was a, st a show stealer, with Orton pulling a trick up his expensive arsenal to fend off the challenge from Punk, finish off his opponent by converting an aerial assault into an RKO for the pinfall. So, um, thank you, Han, again, for giving this to me. Uh, yeah. Ben, I know you're watching this. Uh, uh, subscribe to him, watch his videos, it's kind of amazing. His intros are funny. Ben, thank you for giving this to me, and a happy early birthday. And uh, I really appreciate it. When I see you soon, I'm going to give you a huge hug because I really love CM Punk. And, um, yeah, so I have one up there. You don't really see it, but it's a CM Punk. I'll show it to you after this. So, uh, yeah, it's a CM Punk thing. And it has a signature in the back, which I really appreciate. It's going on my wall over there. And um, when, I, when I open this on uh, Saturday night, when everyone was gone and everyone was sleeping, cleaning, I, my face was lighting up. I was so surprised you actually got me this because no one really got me like wrestling or other things except for Han and this proves that you really know me so I really appreciate it thank you and um as a CM Punk girl I really love it and right now I'll show you the CM Punk I have up right over there as I'm zooming in you see the CM Punk over there my friend gave that to me I'm really thankful all right guys thank you guys for watching subscribe like comment I'll be having about one to four videos or maybe five videos out this week because vacation i have a lot of free time i'm gonna be like watching raw smack and x team and get my thoughts i have big news coming i'm gonna have a news report it's gonna be the paris report or the paris something i need to figure out a name for it if you want to rest me at 33 i'll be there uh if you want to buy me tickets for my birthday which i'll be pretty great in for me and my mom save less money because i was supposed to be going to smackdown on april 11th and i really appreciate it. like comment subscribe follow me on instagram in the links below follow my friends han and ben in the link below remember twitter paris wwe underscore and same with instagram if you want if you want my instagram for my personal dm me message me anything all right so uh tune in to my last video about elimination chamber and tomorrow i'm going to do my thoughts about the new championship champions Hall of Fame inductees, everything, and maybe my WrestleMania 33 plans, because I might be me, Michelle, Michelle McLegend. So, um, this is the end of the video. Sorry if I'm talking fast, because I gotta go to watch Raw while editing this video. Follow, no, subscribe to one of my favorite supporters, Nick Thompson. I'll give his, uh, his uh, link in the below. I'm getting everyone's links. Thank you. Happy birthday, Ben. Thank you to everyone that came to my party who's watching this video. And, um, you can't see me.